All right, g'day guys, Andrew Dwight. Hey, importing PDF into SketchUp. You can't do it with uh, SketchUp uh, in Windows and with Mac it's difficult as well. We made it simple uh, and I'm just using the Pluspec toolbar here uh, and I'm going to click on my little tape measure there and you'll notice inside of the tape measure it has the PDF function. Okay, it's instinctively the first thing I would want to do is import PDF. However, I want to select the quality of PDF that I want to import first. So if I import best and then I go to import PDF and I choose a PDF and go open, you'll notice that this is a little viewer and in this viewer here I can go to and choose the pages of the PDF they want to import. Okay, submit and bang, I have my PDF. It's sitting on 0, 0. I left this little rectangle here so you can see what was happening there. So uh, I'm going to import another one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import it at a different resolution. Okay, so you can see that everything's pretty crisp here and I can clearly see how this plan has been drawn. However, if you import on basic and go import PDF, so I'll select the same PDF, open, and I'll go through till I get to the same plan, you'll notice that it's actually a little bit, well, fuzzy I guess and very difficult to read what's going on there. In Pluspec Lite you only have the, the ability to uh, open in basic mode, you don't have the full resolution uh, there, so you want to keep that in mind. There are several versions that you can access to get this functionality uh, if you go to the Pluspec website. Okay, you can also import uh, on, another mistake that a lot of people make is by going, okay, I've already imported and now I want to go better, and then I think, well, I'm going to go uh, submit. It's not going to change the resolution, basically it's already been brought in, so a good thing to remember is that when you go import, you need to start with it being better, good or best. And why do we do that is because essentially this PDF here has less resolution, therefore it's lower, therefore SketchUp can work more efficiently by using uh, those particular tools. Uh, you can also import on, on a vertical axis, uh, so I might say well, I'll import some uh, elevations here uh, and go submit and you'll notice that it's going to be on the green axis. Okay. And I might just I might just go and report import this is better so we can get and I can show you how to quickly scale your drawings. By default, Plusbeck imports your PDFs as A3. Okay. Now the thing is, is that we know that uh, PDFs will come in, in a whole heap of different sizes. Let's see if I can find something here with dimensions on it while I'm talking. Okay, and go submit. Okay. All right. You can see we can read this quite easily. Now, if this was A3, by default it should be right. However, we recommend you always check it. And if all of your plans, plans were A3, you could select all of them, like I have. I always push Control A, or you could also just use your mouse. Uh, and then you can go back to your little tool here, and you'll notice this little tape measure down. If you select the end of a dimension line that you know to be correct, take your time, zoom in, get it right. See, notice I'm actually zooming out from the left hand side and it's bringing the right hand side towards me. It's a common mistake that, that new users use when navigating inside of SketchUp. And I type in this measurement, 1 meter 570. Five meters 780 it was. Enter. And you notice that that plan was out just a little bit. I scaled every plan at the same go there. You can just do individual, which is something you can't do in SketchUp. If you use the tape measure tool, it will scale the whole model. So, uh, guys, I hope that helps you out a lot. If you've got any more questions, by all means, put them in the comments below. If you like the video, push like. If you hate it, push hate. Thanks, guys. Cheers.